Just here at the clinic. Um, how are you doing today? I'm pretty good. Yeah, yeah. it's a nice warm day, so it's perfect. It should oh, be nice later on. How is the summer coming? So it's good. Anyway, um, so firstly, I'm a sports scientist here at the clinic. Um, that's hopefully why you come to see me today. Sole reason, sole purpose, my job. I'm here to help you. So um, to set the agenda today, basically five to ten minute conversation about why you come to see me. Um, hopefully, we'll solve any we'll not solve, but we'll get to the bottom of any potential issues about why you're here. Um, and then go into the gym, set some baseline testing that into the future we can set um, any training schedules and training programs that you need that come out of today's um, meeting. So, um, how's that sound so far? Sounds yeah, good. Perfect. Um, so, obviously, I've read your file. Um, um, I know basically, very briefly, where you're at, but in your own words, would you like to um, tell me? Why, um, why you've come to see me? Today. Yeah, sure. So I'm just looking to get you know, a bit more strength training yep. into my life. Yep. Um, as you can see, I'm quite a you know, small, weak figure. So yep. um, it's a bit hard you know, in day-to-day -day life, you know, performing daily activities. Yep. Um, so yeah, just a bit of strength, you know, a bit of everything, a bit of size, hopefully. Um, I think that comes with it, yep. Yep. not too sure. Um, yeah, everything that comes along with that, you know, because strength, you know, the important part, yeah, because yeah. I'm, I'm working in RSL, so I have to yeah, carry yeah, kids yeah, and all that. So, understandable. so you would say if you had to put maybe one or two um, definite motivational reasons as to why you've come today, what would you? What would you um, put them on? I guess confidence is a big one. Yeah. Um, you know. Yeah. Um, Eighteen, lacking a bit of confidence. You know. Yeah. With my small figure, you know, everyone's you know, work, everyone's working out. Yeah. Everyone's getting bigger. I'm just yeah, staying yeah. the same way, small. Um, which I'm you know happy not yeah. not happy. With, yeah. But like I understand. I, it could improve. Um, and yeah, I guess confidence is the main one. Um, I mean, every time I go out in public, you know, I think people look at me and think, "Oh wow, he's so small. Yeah. You know, he must be so useless in yeah. everyday life." Um, right. Thank you, thank you. Yeah. Um, yeah, so that's mainly why I'm here. Um, just to be, get a bit of confidence and yeah. just, you know, basically um, stick to a program because I feel like sticking to a program would actually help my confidence, help my mental yeah. you know, capacity sure. and all that stuff. Yeah, so obviously, mate, we've had people come in every single day of the week with the same issue. Boys your age, men older as well, come in with their own Self self confidence and self esteem issues, purely because they're of the smallest stature. They go to the gym. They may not feel confident training in the gym. They come to us, seek our help. We, we like I said, we're here to help you. We're here to, as a result of boosting your confidence from this muscular gain. So, do you know any of the other associated benefits that come with strength training as well? Um, I mean, I know that you get stronger. Yep. Um, yep. Yeah. Yeah. To given in yeah. the name, um, but besides from that, not really. Um, I assume you know, I'll put on a little bit of size. Um, yeah, it's about it, really. So, obviously, as a result of strength training, you're going to put on muscle that's going to boost your self confidence and your self esteem as well. But releases endorphins, makes your moods better. Um, your bone, your muscular health, your whole holistic health, the mental side of it, you'll feel more confident, as we said. It'll just make you feel so much more better as a as a person, which in turn will make you obviously mental, yeah. emotional, physical health um, a lot better as well. So, um, as you touched on before, um, have you had any previous um, exercise history in uh, strength training? Um, I mean, a couple of years ago when I was sixteen, um, I tried to you know stick to a program in the gym yeah. that I wrote myself. So obviously it wasn't very good. Yeah. Um, but I just felt a bit intimidated in the yeah. gym with all you know the bigger people and you yeah. know me being as small yeah. as I am. Um, yeah, I just felt it, found it a bit hard. Um, you know, going to the gym just and just trying to be myself. Um, so I guess that played a part. Um, you know, because I was a bit. It's scared. You know, yeah. Everyone was going to tease me or look at me funny and yeah. you know, say, get out of my gym or something like that. Um, <laughs> but yeah, nothing like that happened. It was just my mindset at the yeah. time. Yeah. Um, so yeah, that's about it. I 
wrote the programs myself, so they weren't very good. Um, so I wouldn't say I'm experienced yeah. in strength training. Yeah. yeah. Okay, no. Perfectly fine. So what, we're, what I've learned so far, personally, come to see me today. One, you're lacking a bit of confidence. Two, you think coming to the gym and establishing a strength-based resistance program is going to boost your self-confidence. We've been through the other associated benefits coming from strength training. Um, yeah. You've had a slight prior experience in yeah. the gym, but it didn't really last Not because major, of yeah. feeling a bit intimidated by the other larger man, which is completely understandable. Like I said, when I was younger, I went through the same thing. I, that's probably why I'm in my industry that I am today. Went through 16, 15, younger years, early, early, early adult malehood, had the same problem. I went and saw a person, look where I'm today, yeah. in the same position, I'm helping you. That's what I'm thriving on. Um, many people, like I said before, in the exact same position. So that's why my job exists, I suppose. Um, so have you had any other training experiences outside of um, the gym that I suppose we could feed off and we could um, <coughs> establish a program along the lines of because you enjoy certain things or don't enjoy yeah. other so things? So I did a bit of um, triathlon yeah. and training and competing um, like last year and the year before. Yeah. Um, and so I guess I kind of really like the more endurance side, but I don't really need to work on that. Yes. Quite all right. Yeah, um, yeah, yeah. So yeah, yeah, I've been training and competing in triathlons for two years now, mm -hmm. almost three. Yeah. Um, so that's my only sporting experience, yeah, yeah. you could say. Um, but yeah, it's just that setting, that team setting. Yeah. Um, I really like you know, to sure. be around other people that are like me, because you know, endurance athletes, um, they're not the biggest. Yeah. Stature. Yeah, yeah, it's stature. So yeah, exactly. I feel really comfortable around them. Um, and that's why I just stuck to it. Yeah, so, so obviously the fact that you thrive off that group setting training is something great, something that we can we can work off here at the yeah. clinic. Um, the fact that you really thrive on the training itself is also something yeah. we can work. We can bring that work ethic into this strength based program, which will obviously help you a lot. It's good that you've got that foundation there that we can work off in some sort of um, physical activity setting. Um, obviously, at the clinic here, we offer a very wide range of um, training practices and training programs that we'll delve into a little bit later, but you'll be able to sort of help us, help you tailor your program specific to what you like. So obviously, like I said, you like the group training, yeah. you can potentially find training partners to work with. Obviously, we'll set this schedule one-on-one -on -one to start with, see what your strength is what your weaknesses are and set a program based upon that. But the fact that you like group training, um, you thrive on, obviously, intense physical activity through the triathlons. Um, so we'll be able to incorporate all these different variations upon your own liking into this um, program. So um, what's, your, what's your current weekly schedule, I suppose? Um, I mean, I just took a gap year. Yep. Um, so I've got a lot of spare time. I just worked uh, occasionally at an RSL club. So I work there mainly at nights, so I guess um, you know, I've got a lot of time free during the day. Yeah. I don't really do much. Um, you know, I've kind of backed off triathlon training. Yeah. So I've got a lot of spare time on yeah. my hands, especially okay. with you know, no uni or anything mm -hmm. on my gap year. Yeah. So, I mean, yeah, don't really live a real busy life. Yeah. <laughs> yeah uh, so I'm free a lot. Yeah. <laughs> That's obviously perfect, mate. Like, it, like I said before, we've got classes running all week. Obviously, so many different training potentials that we can tailor this program and this schedule, obviously, to you, especially yeah. the fact that you're pretty much free 75% of the time. Um, so just a quick recap to summarise before we head into the gym and take a few baseline tests to establish what we're going to do further into the future. Um, so you're lacking a bit of confidence. You want to boost that up. You kind of see me to help you. Um, we've been through the potential benefits and why would why you come and see me, but also the potential benefits as to the results, the size just building the musculature, so obviously overall better health as well. Um, I've had history of triathlons, so you thrive on the group training, you thrive on pushing yourself against other people, so that's what we can probably take into this um, this schedule. Is there anything else that you'd like to discuss before we um, before we move on into the gym? No. 
Not really, I think you've covered it all. Yep. Yeah. Cool. Tweed, mate, we'll just head on into it.